So in question number five, find the value of a and b if x my x square plus one is a factor of the polynomial this one. Okay. Now one thing is I could have used factor theorem. Okay. I could have used factor theorem. Factor theorem says that whatever the number is, keep it equal to zero and find out the value of x. But the problem is this is not possible. Root minus one is not possible. Understood? Yes. You know this thing or not? Uh, yes, I know that. Very good. So in this case, factor theorem is not possible. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide these two values. Okay. So in this particular question, what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide it normally. Take the first term divided by the uh, term, first term of the outside, the divisor. So I will be getting x square. I'll just multiply these two numbers. So x square into x square is x power four. One into x square is one x square. So change the sign. This get cancelled. So what is remaining? X cube is remaining from here. And uh, 8 minus 1 is plus 7x square. And I will take this time down also plus 8x plus b. Now I will repeat the process. Take the first term divided by the first term which is outside. So I will get x and dx. So plus x I will be getting. Okay. So x square into x will give me x cube plus 1 into x will give me 1x. Change the sign. This get cancelled. 7x square coming out. Now over here, a minus 1. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to write like this. a minus 1 x plus b. Is that thing clear? Yes. Now, again, I will divide similarly. 7x square divided by x square. Now, this time x square, x square cancel, I will get 7. So, this is the last time I am dividing because this is the time power is same. Next time power won't be same. Power will be less. The numerator power should be more or equals to. So plus 7, yes. so I get plus 7x square plus 7, okay, plus 1 into 7 is 7. So to be subtraction, okay, okay. this get cancelled, this will come down, a minus 1x plus b minus 7. Is that thing clear? Oh, yes. Now the question was, if you remember the question, question was, yeah, that this is a factor. Factor means, what does factor means? Uh, that means the remainder will be 0. Yes. Okay. As x square plus 1 is a factor, therefore remainder should be 0. Yes or no? Yes. So basically this is the remainder. We know that. This is the remainder. Now see an uh, interesting way of writing a minus 1x plus, therefore, b minus 7 equals to 0. Now, interesting thing is, 
I can write zero as in this linear form. So this is a linear form because it's a variable x. So I can write this thing as a minus one x plus b minus seven equals to zero x plus zero. Because zero into x plus zero will give me a zero. Okay. Therefore, comparing the like terms, now I will do comparing the like terms. Okay. So I will get a minus one equals to zero. So what I'm doing, I'm comparing this thing and this zero and this thing and this zero. Okay. So from here, I'm getting a value as one and b value as seven. I hope it is clear a and b value we have found. This is a very, very important question. This kind of question you will find in your final exams. Okay. This is even important for grade nine also. In nine grade also it comes. So sixth question language is little bit odd, but the questions are very simple. If truth and lie are the zeros. So let me just consider the first the zeros are T and L. Okay. Okay. Let the zeros are T and L. Is that thing clear? Yes. Of this polynomial and the zeros are reciprocal to each other. This is a very important thing. That means they are reciprocal of each other. I don't know the value of T and I don't know the value of L. But one thing I know that the, whatever the value is, let's say the T value is 2. So L value would be? Reciprocal. Reciprocal one means what? 1 upon 2. Is that thing clear? Yeah. Let's say the T value is 5. So L value would be 1 upon 5. Making sense? Yes. So, to ease our calculation, let me just take some random uh, value. Not just random. Let T equals to N. Some value. I don't know. Therefore, L equals to? 1 upon M. 1 upon M. Very good. So basically, I got alpha. the two zero. Sorry? Can we take alpha? T is equal to alpha. Yeah, yeah, we can take alpha also. You want to take alpha, so I can, I can take alpha also. So this is alpha, this is alpha. Okay? okay. Fine? Yes. No. First question is, find the relationship between P and R. So P and R. Is it the product relationship or uh, uh, some relationship? P and R. Product. Product. Very good. Because we know that product of zeros is C upon A. Yes or no? Yes. And our zeros are L and T. Yes or no? Yes. L and T. So let me just write L multiply by T equals to C upon A. What is C in this question? R upon P. Understood? This is C, this is B, this is A. Making sense? Yes. Now, what is the value of L? L value is 1 upon alpha. 
T value is alpha R upon B. So alpha alpha cancel. So what I will be getting over here? One. One equals to R upon B. Cross multiplication B equals to R. So this is the relationship. Relationship is P is equals to R. Is that thing clear? Yeah. Now the second question is what values do you learn from this question? But a question is values you learn. It is not talking about maths value. It is talking about general value. And the question is talking about truth and lie. And the question is saying truth and lie are reciprocal. So the values I'm learning is if somebody having more truth, lie is less. Okay. And somebody who is lying more, truthful is less. So that is the value I'm learning. Understood? Is that thing clear? Yes. Yeah, this was an interesting question, but definitely uh, in a different way of writing. 